In this video, we're going to have a look at the Alpha 4 and Alpha 10 mega size video transmitters by AKK. These things are insane. I already had a look on the website about these, but when I received the package and had a sneak peek, I couldn't believe how big these video transmitters are. They are bigger than flight controllers. It's insane. But first, I want to say thank you to the guys of AKK for sending these for product review and free use. Thank you guys so much. And I've been using their video transmitters, which are very reliable and solid and they never failed me. So I'm very happy to represent the brand on the channel and to have an AKK product as the very first of product reviews on this channel. So starting out with the Alpha 4, when you open up the very nicely organized box, you would come face to face with the unit right here. And when you go through the protection foam and paper, you would meet the necessary video transmitter cable and the antenna extension. And at the bottom, you got the product instruction manual. So first having a look at the manual, you would see that there are four versions of the Alpha series. You got the Alpha 4, 5, 8, and 10. You got the Alpha series, but the numbers represent the amount of watts it put out. So you guys guessed it, the Alpha 4 does 4 watts, the Alpha 5 at max does 5 watts. You got the Alpha 8 with 8 watts and the Alpha 10 with 10 watts. It's also on the page right here. You would see all the modes that it can get into with all the Alpha series. It's very nice to see that the Alpha 4, 5, and 8 have 25 milliwatts as an option because when you just want to fly close range FPV or have the necessary antennas, just go 25 milliwatts and spare yourself some milliamps, I guess. But it's not the case with the Alpha 10. With the, its lowest power mode, it just puts out a whole watt of video transmitting power. And with mode 2, 3, and 4, it does 3 watts, 5 watts, 7 watts. And with mode 5, you would just zap out everything you come close to because that's a mind-boggling 10 watts. What I also really like is the variety of bands and channels that you could tune into. I mean, it goes beyond the R band because there is a P, an L band, a U, an O band, and there's an X as well, with X1 being 4.99 gigahertz. I mean, who uses that, right? But that's the point because there's almost nothing out there that sends out with 4.99 gigahertz. You are very less likely prone to be interfered with in the, I guess, 5.8 gigahertz spectrum. So that's so that's very nice to have with all the other weird low 5.8 gigahertz frequencies in there as well with the O, U, and L, and P bands. So, so that's very nicely and well thought of AKK as well. So on this page, you just got your cable information. So just five volts out, ground, video, TBS, if you're gonna use that, and then two ground and two power wires. The reason why you could not use one ground and one power is because when you switch to mode two, three, or four, or beyond, your cables would just snap because the transmitter is that powerful. You have to use two ground and two power to spread the load evenly. On this page right here, you would see the power consumption of your, I guess, three cell battery, 12 volts. The Alpha 4 consumes one and a half amps. The Alpha 8 does two and a half amps. The Alpha 10 does 2.8 amps at 12 volts. So there's quite some amps running through these tiny wires. So that's why AK thought about two of these wires in parallel to lessen the load on the cables. So that's a very nice and well thought feature of them. So let's have a look at the unit itself. Here's the Alpha 4, which is very, very well designed. And here you got like these holes to be mounted. At the back side, you would have these cooling fins and there's an integrated fan in there as well to blow past these fins to cool down the transmitter even more. And you guys still have no idea how big this is. Something I use a lot and for reference, is the Maytek F405 Wing V2 flight control board. You guys have probably had these for your builds, but here comes the Alpha 4. It's way too big for a video transmitter, but I mean, 4,000 milliwatts of video transmitting power, I guess it's worth the size and weight. I think it's a little bit more heavy than the flight controller. There's not a lot of weight difference, but you got the weight right there. But I mean, that's the Alpha 4. 
And with these AKK transmitters, they also send you the AKK tube antennas. And I think these are 4.5 dB of strength in the antenna in there as well. So I think with the Omni receiver on my ground station, I guess, and with 4,000 milliwatts, it's, I, I guess it's uh, 15 kilometers, no problem. It's, it's way too overpowered for a recreational use, even the Alpha 4, let alone the Alpha 10. So let's have a look at the Alpha 10. When you open up the box, everything is identical. You would meet your video transmitter and when you take away the protection foam and paper, you would meet your necessary cables and the manual inside. But skipping on forward and comparing it to the Alpha 4, they are identical and same in design with the front profile and the heating fin body at the back with the integrated fans. They are identical, but the Alpha 10 is two and a half times more powerful. So thinking about the quad guys out there, this might be the transmitter that they're longing for because four watts of video transmitting power is the problem solver for flying behind a forest or some abandoned factory with a lot of objects and things in their video path. These things are way too powerful for the recreational flying that quad pilots do and thinking about the long range guys living in some part of the world without fpv regulations and getting their mini talons out to some 35 kilometer waypoint missions if they get one of these things fitted on their fpv planes it's kind of like the equivalent of a toyota camry fitted with a six liter v12 it's just way too much way too powerful it consumes much but it delivers it got the power so I'm very grateful for receiving the Alpha 4 and 10. So you guys from AKK, one more time, thank you guys so much. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment and stay tuned for the build video, which is after this video. It's a very exciting build, so I hope you guys, you don't miss it. So please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the build video.